Now it is the ongoing brouhaha between the Colts and the Giants. So let me give you the Cliff Notes version of what's been going on. So in the recent game, which was not much of a game, was a domination situation for the team that represents New York but plays in New Jersey. So the Giants rookie linebacker Kayvon Thibodeau sacked Nick Foles early in the game, relatively early in the game, and messed up Nick Foles' ribcage. And if you didn't see the highlight or if you're blind, Nick Foles was laying on the ground withering in agony. And right next to him, after completing the sack, was Thibodeau, who was inches away doing snow angels on the field. He was flopping his arms. And it made for, as you can imagine, quite the visual, right? Quite the scene. And there were a lot of angry members of the Indianapolis traveling party, including offensive linemen who were complaining. You had the Colts head coach, Jeff Saturday, who called the sack celebration trash and tasteless. And so that's what has happened. Now you're going to hear the rest of the story. And if you, if you haven't been following along here, it's a good one. And it goes right into the belly of a beast, the Giants locker room. So the media went up to Kayvon Thibodeau, and they asked him about being called trash and tasteless by Jeff Saturday, the coach of the Colts. Well, what did... He say, what did Thibodeau say when asked about this? Let's go to the audio tape. Here is uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, and he's asked his rebuttal to the comments made about him. We have, he went on a rant. He said, who's the gatekeeper of when we do something? He said, once we figure out who the gatekeeper is, Thibodeau ranted, uh, then we can write the rules, and then we can establish the narratives and things like that until you guys... Thibodeau said, are actually in the sport and do it and be in that moment, you can't create a narrative on it. That was the full soundbite. And then the other part of it, which we just played, was the second part of it where he said, I don't know who he is when asked about uh, Jeff Saturday. So let us discuss, apologize for that, the question, what do you make of uh, Kayvon Thibodeau's rebuttal, which you didn't hear the full rebuttal, to Colts coach Jeff Saturday. What do you make of his rebuttal? So I've got Whack Pack, Xbox, and Spider-Man. And we will combine all of these together, and we're going to make a headache, which I have right now. I have a migraine headache. I don't know why. All right, so uh, first of all, I found this hilarious. I found it hilarious. Like, Thibodeau is going to make my job easier. Over the next couple of years. Like he's a good player, and he's got a big mouth. That's a wonderful combo dish. Wowzers, right? I, I had to play this clip, which you didn't hear, multiple times to get the full enjoyment out of it because uh, you know, the, the linebacker immediately going on the defensive. And as you would expect, he's not that media savvy. He thinks he's media savvy, but he's not. So uh, Kayvon attempted to use the old, you didn't play the game attack, dismissing the media noise as outsiders. And that that backfired since this was not the media, even though Jeff Saturday worked in the media, as a Hall of Fame level offensive lineman with a decorated resume. So once he realized, wait a minute, that's not going to work. I can't say, well, you didn't play the game. I'm going to listen to people that play the game. that, that, That flopped, and so he then pivoted Thibodeau, and he flipped the script. He took a page out of the old 1990s version of the Howard Stern show, The Whack Pack, and it reminded me of one of the characters on that show, uh, Stuttering John, because uh, Stern would send, back before Stern went woke, he would send Stuttering John out to to interview celebrities, and often they were on the red carpet, and he would say, like, why are you famous? Like, what are you famous for? And it was always... Very awkward for the famous people. So that is on the same level where the Giants player is dismissing Jeff Saturday, saying he doesn't know who the opposing coach is, that he just played, hello, just played in the previous game. Now, the biggest faux pas from Kayvon, as I break this down frame by frame, was not the Snow Angels. 
Now that looked bad, but you could argue that he he didn't know Foles was hurt in the moment, and I could even believe that because he got the sack, he fell down, and then does the snow angel. But what he did after that, there is no no defense that you didn't know the guy was hurt. So Thibodeau comes off the field, right? Comes off the field, and he then goes into like this wrestling heel type position behind the Giants bench. He's making gestures to he he made the night night gesture to the fans behind the bench, which is it's the Steph Curry gesture, right? The, the NBA guy he places his hands on the the side of his face. And uh, after a big three pointer, as if he's he's putting the uh, the opposition to sleep. Now uh, the giant player here, his gesture came while Foles was being attended to by the medical personnel. And uh, you talk about uh, Marie Antoinette uh, level uh, oblivious. My God! All right. Now, furthermore, are you going to go thumbs up or thumbs down on uh, Kayvon Thibodeau not being aware? of Jeff Saturday as a NFL player for the Colts. So I am actually going to go thumbs up on that. Right? I'm going to go thumbs up. The, the coaching part of it I don't buy, but the thumbs up part of it I believe because as far as him as a player, that's believable. And this is one of those things that all these hardo sports hardcore people get offended by. They believe this is a breach of decorum. Like, how could you not know who Jeff Saturday is what is wrong with you? Shame on you. But it's actually logical. If you crunch the numbers. So Thibodeau was 12 years old in 2012. That was the last year that Jeff Saturday was an active player in the NFL. So I'm going to put my neck out there and say that most 12-year-olds are not up on offensive linemen. Even though they love football, they're not up on offensive linemen. But I bet you that Kayvon can name every character on Halo 4 from his Xbox, right? Every character. That's probably more in his wheelhouse. Not to mention the Komodo dragon in the room, which I pointed out a few times. My experience uh, with uh, many, many professional athletes, but in the NFL in particular, the naked truth is that many NFL players who we watch every week and we appreciate what they do on the field, they also happen to be very good at football and they make a lot of money at football, but they're not football fans. Right. They're not. They're not fanatical. They're not watching every game. It's their job. It is a misnomer that many people have that these people that play football love football. They uh, they watch it all the time. They know everything. No, they don't. I don't believe that. All right, party shot. So how do you evaluate the start of Kayvon uh, Thibodeau's career with the Giants? So I have him on my scorecard like the Tasmanian devil. Impactful on the field. And off it. That's a win-win for, for people like me that do these kind of jobs. Now, we have seen this act before. This guy is the alter ego of Odell Beckham. Cue the old Spider-Man meme, right, where they're pointing at each other, right? Wait, I'm Spider-Man. No, you're Spider-Man. Wait a minute. What's going on? It's that same energy, right? I love that, that classic Spider-Man theme song, Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can, spins a web any size, catches thieves just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. You know, the rest of that song, though, is he's got radioactive blood. That's it. And that's the concern here. The last line, that's the one that makes hardcore Giant fans a little queasy because they ran Odell Beckham out of a Giants uniform. Some would argue he ran himself out of a Giants uniform, but Kayvon looks to be living in his own bubble. As well, he's going to speak his mind, even if it's it's something maybe you probably should keep to yourself. He's going to say it, which is good for talk radio. And even if it goes against the social norms of the NFL, it doesn't matter, right? And this is just the opening act. The narcissism runs deep. Get that big bucket of popcorn. Get the extra butter. Get some candy and enjoy, 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 because it's going to be fun. It is going to be great. 